One year ago today, Hurricane Ian left communities all across Florida in shambles. That's right. Now one nonprofit is working to ensure Tampa Bay is ready for any future disasters. Nicole Rogers joins us now live in downtown Tampa. Nicole, tell us about the distribution center this organization just opened today. Good evening. The organization is called Rebuilding Together Tampa Bay, and they say this new massive facility will help them respond quicker to these natural disasters when you need them most. From Nokomis in Sarasota County. It was devastating. Yeah. It hurt. To Polk County's Peace River. Basically, uh, hell on earth. And right here in Tampa, communities still recovering from Hurricane Ian one year later. I've never seen that much destruction to roofs, exteriors, fences, all at once and everybody going through the same issue. The destructive Category 4 hurricane battered the state of Florida, taking the lives of 151 people. Berta Kila says as a Florida resident, her home had been slowly deteriorating from these storms for years. After Ian hit, she knew something had to be done shingle damage and things like that was really what alerted us to see why is there pieces of roof on the floor. Rebuilding together, Tampa Bay invested $32,000 in Tequila's home at no cost to her. Since Ian hit one year ago, the nonprofit has worked on 605 other homes, helping to truly rebuild Tampa Bay. We come in and we do the immediate response, the tarping, the mucking and gutting. Um, and then after that, we move into the long-term recovery phase. And at that point, we're helping people rebuild their houses. The organization is now opening its first hurricane response distribution center in Tampa. All 5,000 square feet is being filled with things Bay Area residents will need immediately following natural disasters like hurricanes, helping people like Keyless rebuild one step at a time. It just gives us that confidence that we have a structure over us that, you know, is, is protective now. Now, though this will allow them to respond to those disasters quicker, they say now is the time to prepare. We saw when Ian hit, there were a lot of people that just were not prepared and 151 lives were lost. You can head to WFLA.com for a full hurricane preparedness guide. Live in downtown Tampa, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.